Welcome back. My name is Levi from the Isle of Revelation. Some of you may know me as Pair of Plane on Discord. And today we're going to actually go back over the RVT system since there was a huge change in Oceanology 5.2. Uh, it actually simplifies everything and makes it way easier. So in order to get this set up properly, so you have all the basis that you need for doing all your RVT, we're going to go ahead and just redo this from scratch. This is going to work exactly the same on what you already have on whatever project that you're working on. But this will also just go back over just setting up RVTs completely for the people that are just starting to do this as well. So that we can have a full basis. I'll put in a, a chapter menu down the bottom so you can go ahead and skip to wherever you are in your project. So the first thing we're going to do is I am using Brushify here and I just made a base landscape just so we can see everything working. And we're going to go ahead and set up the RVTs for the landscape first. Uh, so that we can see how they differentiate out since this is Brushify and it's going to use its own RVT system. And we're going to have the Oceanology using its own so that they're separated. So let's go ahead and get started right now. The first thing we're going to do is I already have the landscape here and I already have the material added into the landscape uh, for Brushify. This is just the Brushify 2041 material. I haven't made any changes on it, just added a couple textures so you can see where the lines will separate when the uh, the ocean is actually added. So now we're going to go ahead and start adding in our RVTs. If we go into the volumes, we have our runtime virtual texture volume right here on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and drop one of those in. And you'll see we get this uh, little plane here. Uh, the first thing I like to do on these, uh, if you watch me, you will know this, as I'm going to go ahead and zero it out so that it's right there in the middle, zero, 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 zero. And we need to add into our landscape. So we have our runtime virtual texture volume up here. We're going to go ahead and rename that. We're going to rename that one to RBT. And this one is going to be our height underscore. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, this will be RBT underscore height. Just like that. And we're going to go into our landscape first. And we're going to see if we go down here to the bottom. Uh, to the virtual textures, you're going to get draw in virtual textures. We're going to click that twice because we're going to add two of them. And the first one that we're going to add is going to be, we're going to use the the Brushify one. So if you highlight them, you'll see here where it says game Brushify materials. Uh, this one is going to be our height on the top one. And the bottom one, we will do the landscape. So now we have both of those set up. And they will correspond to the RVTs that we have here. So if we click on our RVT height. We are going to use the virtual texture RVT height. And then we're going to, once we have that set up, we can save it real quick. Control shift S to save. Now we can select our landscape. So we're going to go in here, select our landscape, and we're going to set the bounds. And then you'll see that the bounds will click directly to the boxes that we have here. And it looks like it, you can actually go into your perspective, go into your top view, and just make sure that they are set directly to the corners and they do look perfect. So let's go ahead back into perspective view and the height is set. So now we have to do, we can actually just duplicate this one. So we're going to control D to duplicate it and we're going to name this one RVT landscape. And the, there we go, RVT landscape. And the only thing we're going to change on this one is we're going to go into our RVT virtual textures here and select the landscape. Perfect. So now if we turn on the virtual textures, and we can actually do the streaming also. I'm not going to build the streaming for this one. You can do that anytime that you want. I'm just going to get the RVT on and working so that we can see that it is working. So if we go back into our landscape, we can go ahead here to our uh, material instance. I just double clicked here on the material instance to bring it out. And then we can scroll down to where we see RVT, which will be right here. All we have to do is check it to turn it on. There we go. And if the RVTs are not set properly, uh, you're actually going to see the world change into like different colors or it could go completely black. Stuff like that. 
And that works. One of the big ones that I did forget to mention, though, is that uh, we do want to go not into our plugins. We want to go into our project settings. And you can go into, we can just type in runtime virtual textures. Uh, is this is the one. Uh, I think it's just virtual textures. All right, so here you will see it uh, on virtual texture and it'll say enable virtual texture support. You wanna make sure that's checked. So if that's not checked, then the virtual texture is not gonna work at all. And I do believe that's just in rendering. And if you go into rendering, you can go down to the virtual textures here and you'll see this one, the very first one to check that. And then you have some parameters here you can change. So I already have that enabled because this is just a map that's on the project that we're already working on uh, currently. Perfect. So let me go ahead and make sure these are set where they need to be. Perfect. Okay. So, and I did turn on uh, virtual texture, so we do have that working. And now we can go ahead and add in our ocean. Let's go ahead and get that started. So if we go into our plugins, uh, let's scroll down here. I like to find them in this one, if I can. And then we'll find Oceanology right here. And we can go into the design, Oceanology, Blueprints, Ocean. And the one we're going to be using right now is the BP Infinite uh, Ocean. And we'll go ahead and drag that in and get our water line where we want it. That right there looks good. So right now you'll see that it's not loading in completely and that's just because we need to save it so I like to actually do this first so you can look at your waterline and get an idea where you want it to be and then if you control shift save you'll see it come in like so but currently we don't have any foam because the foam is actually running on the RBTs so what we can do now is go ahead and set that one up and we're going to go into our uh, quick add here and this one, we're going to go into all classes and just type in RVT. Oh, that's not RVT. And you're going to see one here called Oceanology RVT Height Map. We're going to go ahead and click that one to bring that one out. And once again, on this one, we're going to zero it so it's in the middle. And the first setup we have to do, so if we go into our landscape, we're going to notice that we have these two RVTs that we added. This is the RVTs for Brushify. Once we go into our, our, our Oceanology RVT height map, we're gonna get a bunch of settings here. And the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our landscape. Once we set up the landscape, oops, I'm sorry. You have to select uh, the landscape. Go ahead and select the landscape. So we can't set the bounds yet, I don't think. I believe it has to be set up first. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to bounds line actor, select the landscape, then go to set up landscape. And then you should see this. Now, if you go into your landscape here and you go back down to your RVTs, you're going to see that you're going to have a third one. This is the one that we're going to be running for the Oceanology. Okay. So now if we go back up to the RVT, now we should be able to set the bounds on the volume that we have here. So if we set bounds, now you'll see that it goes where it should be. And it should match uh, the other RVTs that we already have in the map. So you can see there's Z fighting. So they're exactly on top of each other. That's exactly what we want. So that part's done. Now comes the easy part. So this has been changed and made so much better. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change our build levels, build levels to four. And you'll see your texture size that's being produced. We're just doing a 512. You can go as high as you want, but it does get pretty expensive. 512 seems to work just fine. So our next one, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to save our height map out. Because if you go into your landscape here and we go back into uh, this one, you can see we have this one here. But now we have to save it so that it can be used in Oceanology. So we're going to go ahead and save our height map. And I have these two here. I'm going to name these different because these are for the main map that we're working on right now. So we'll do this. Uh, this will be RVT map height map. And this will be 
RVT map because that's the one that I named this. And that works just fine. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and bake out the SDF. And we'll do the same thing here. Underscore RVT map. So we know which one's which. And now for the fun to get set up, we're just going to go ahead and uh, set up the water. Uh, I think we need to set the min max first and then set up the water. It doesn't matter really. It still works. So now you can actually see we already got foam. And it was actually that easy just to get your foam in there. So the foam is actually just right on the edge. You can just barely see it. But now we can go in to the oceanology itself and go into our RVT actor here. And all we got to do is just bring up our depth here to add the foam in. And it's that easy compared to how it was previously. It's just a few clicks and now it's done. And you can still mess with these parameters if you need to, to change anything. But for now, you just have your foam system here. And your depth for your mask and everything as well. And that is all there is to setting up the RVT on that one. So, yeah. And I do want to say one last thing. So tomorrow's the last day of the Oceanology Giveaway Contest. Uh, at 6.30, I'm going to go ahead and shut that uh, video down and start tallying all the names and everything. So if you haven't signed up yet, now's the time. So there's only, well, there's about 24 hours left at my time right now. So go ahead and do that. And definitely give us a like if you like this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>